Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today it's scorching hot outside. Um, yeah, for a Viking, everyone who lives in Texas or yeah down south, uh, you'll be laughing your ass off. But well, I think we I saw on the thermometer that it was uh, this thermometer over here was reading. It's actually not reading anything. It was telling me inside that it was. 34 degrees outside so um, <coughs> I'm melting out here. I am playing with solar and over here I have rigged up kind of a temporary thing. Um, the lawnmower has been working great for a long time but we have had some really crappy weather where it has been gray for days and um, yeah when it's gray it rains and the grass grows really well with all the water so the grass was growing the lawnmower was trying to keep it down and the sun was not supplying any power so i had a bit of an issue with the batteries of the lawnmower so let's go visit those they are in here um there used to be one that's the bottom one that, that's the normal one that I had there all the time, but that ran low. I was uh, this charge controller, which is a new charge controller. I'm not sure that you've seen this. I showed this to my patrons, um, but I put a new charge controller on it because the other one burned um, or didn't burn it. It it stopped working, and I thought, well, that that was a cheap five dollar charge controller. Doesn't matter. We will get another one. So I got another one. Then I ended up actually repairing the other one. It was just a fuse that had given up. So, um, yeah, I fixed that too. But this one is cool because it shows what's going in and what's going out. And we can kind of press this button here. There, right now it shows me the battery voltage, which is low. And the temperature, oh, 26 degrees. I'm, I'm hot. And it's tick. We have 4.1 amps coming in from the solar panels, and then it starts over. That's irritating. The lawnmower is right now charging, taking 2.9. Uh, we have had 645 amp hours coming in from the sun. We have had a load of that. It doesn't bring the batteries up to more than that. I don't know, maybe that's the voltage coming in from the solar panels. That's the load on and that's the load off. It protects the battery so it shuts off the, the, the load, which is this guy over here. This one is a DC to DC converter. It takes the battery voltage and it pumps it up to about 31 volts for the lawnmower outside. So if the battery voltage drops below uh, 11 volts, it will turn that off so that it doesn't ruin the batteries. I've actually upped that a little bit. It used to be 10.6 and I thought, oh, we're going to destroy the batteries if we do it that way. So yeah, I, uh, I upped it a little bit. So also very happy with this cheap solar charge controller. I'm, I'm not sure that it's an MPPT. Um, doesn't matter either. It, um, it gives me a lot of good data when I, when I need to see what's going on. The battery, uh, I wasn't getting in enough amperage to, to keep the battery charged. So first I tried to add another battery so that, well, it would be able to run longer uh, if there were good solar. Right now it is bringing in more than it's using. 4.1 and um, using 2.8 and when the robot actually goes out to mow the lawn it will drop down to like 0 0.4 or something like that we could just go and provoke it to go do its job i think it's probably charged enough to to do that we will get this one out of the way <clears throat> And I have to go under the wires here. This is kind of the temporary setup. Um, yeah, let's see. Right now it's yeah. Right now it's 77% charged in there. But if we open it up, there it will say 100%, which is kind of it's 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 cheating. I don't know why it does that. But if I close it, then it will go to work. 
and it will mow the lawn. Now this is very temporary. I have this 50 watt panel up here and that was the one that wasn't able to keep up. You can kind of see the specs of it. It's an old panel, it's a really old panel. Um, so it's probably down to uh, 10 or 20 watts. Um, then I had this panel that Banggood was so good to um, to donate me for a review video last year. So that is kind of good. We can also see that the battery voltage just came up from, what was it, 11.8 to 12.1. And we can kind of see, now we're taking in 4 amps and we are only um, using 0 0.3 amps. Awesome! So, yeah, that's not the only solar project that I've been working on. I have also been improving my big solar panels. We might just go look at that. So here is the roof of my garage. And if you count them, there are 12. Um, I put up six panels last year. This one, this one, and this one. This one, this one, and this one. And then um, my solar charge controller wasn't able to take any more. So right now I have also this one, this one, and this one running. Um, so I've improved it by one third. But also I have up here that one, that one, and that one. But they are not yet connected. And it's um, a really stupid reason, really, because I was out buying this good solar wire here that thing which i really should uh, put up a bit prettier than that but i bought like 15 meters and i was cheap so i am missing from where is that there's a connector up here somewhere oh, i have to be careful this one is pointy and it's really nasty so don't don't want to be up against it yeah we have that connector there that has to go over there in there and then it would come in uh, about up there and it needs to go down there plus i need another fuse i have ordered those but i was cheap and i kind of it's like a meter of cable that i should just have gotten a meter or more but yeah it was like 20 danish crowns worth of cable maybe three dollars um, and it would take it would cost me 60 Danish crowns to drive forth and back to get that cable and that's about just under ten dollars uh, so I'm waiting because it's not that far from work so when I go back to work I'm still on vacation and um, I'll be able to do that but I have another cool project um, now that I have some more solar panels I am. Um, I have the weirdest thing, and you have to see this because it's, it's 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 as stupid as they come. So let's go see that. So we need to go into the basement for you to see this. So in the basement we have I have this charge controller working, and I have well I have some electric stuff, and down here I have the inverter and that is connected to these batteries over here there are 12 on the other side there are some additional 12 batteries if these batteries were new there would be 24 kilowatt hours of, of power there they're not they're not that great but with the new uh, added solar panels i've added another addition down here and it's uh, <laughs> right out of sight of view here it's it's that one it's a Bitcoin miner. It's a Chinese version. It's it's an I think it's called an E-Byte E9. It um, it uses power and it's connected to the net my network. And when I turn it on, it will mine bitcoins. So um, we'll just see what power comes in, and then we'll try and turn it on. So here we can see the charge controller right now. It's it's batteries are at 56.5 six load nothing. Uh, let's get some interesting there solar panels are at 10 amps almost 11 amps coming in battery voltage amps going to the battery watts 
about a thousand watts are going to the batteries right now. Um, and yeah, so let's try and turn on the Bitcoin miner. It's noisy as hell, I must admit. So the Bitcoin miner, uh, excuse my shadow over here, is connected to the Shelly down here, which is a device where it measures the wattage and you can turn on and off stuff from your phone. Like I have it here. Uh, right now the water heater is on. Uh, there is so much hot water being produced by the solar collectors that right now it's it's not doing much. Um, but we can turn on the miner here. I can just press that button and it will turn on. And right now it's noisy, but that is nothing compared to when it um, really kicks in. Um, my idea is that when the sun is really shining, like right now, you could see that there was only a thousand watts going to the batteries and there is 2500 watts of panels up there right now. So right now a lot of the power is not being used for anything. So the evil plan was that when there is an, an excess of power, instead of selling it to the power company, it would be cool just to power on the Bitcoin miner and they don't make much money they really don't it's like they will yeah now now it's doing what what it's doing it hasn't really even yeah now it's cranking up it makes about 15 cents an hour but it also produces 1500 watts of heat so this is actually just an electric heater that makes bitcoins so we can kind of see down here that it's using 1549 ish 50 watts and we can probably be able to see that now the batteries are taking in 31 amps and 16 almost 1700 watts not as much power is being wasted going to nothing the battery voltage is dropping though it's it doesn't see that excess of power anymore which is also probably not good for the batteries for them to be charged that high i thought that this was a very funny idea it's a bit hard to see but it's actually very nice and warm the air that comes out of it uh, right now it's scorching hot outside so i don't really need this but the idea was winter in the winter we get good solar at some point yeah i moved upstairs i got tired of yelling over it you can probably still hear it in the background. It's, it's noisy. I, I need to do something about that. But my idea was really to run it when I wasn't at home. Like um, at winter, when, um, when the sun is up, uh, we do get good solar and then it could run for a couple of hours while I was at work and um, kind of bring the battery voltage a little bit down and then it would charge the rest of the day and uh, everything would be good. I want to show you this. So we'll just log in here. It kind of, it has a tiny little computer on top, just a little circuit board, five times five centimeters or something. Oh, maybe six times six, I don't know, don't care. Um, but it's very easy, you, you log in on it and it gives you nice graphs of what it's doing. PPL, I actually don't know what that is, um, but it shows me how many uh, giga hashes it's doing. I didn't buy a new one, this is a used one. It's a couple of years old. Uh, the modern ones, if you get a really good new one, it's about 44 terahashes. This is this is 9.4 terahashes. Right now it's at 57 degrees and it's it's working. And we can kind of see that right now it has been working for about five minutes. And you put in, it, it gets its work and it delivers its result. And, and you put that in as well. There is kind of nothing secret about that. I am using this slush, slush pool. I, it's in Czech. It, it's in the Czech Republic, and I've just called my miner. It's the my playhouse E Byte E9 Plus, and there is a password to be able to mine. I don't know. It's not really. If anyone wants to mine on my account, well, feel free. I just get the the money. And I've put it up so that it's, it's, it's mining in the EU, it's mining in the general one and in Canada. There's like three cards on it, so each of them you can configure to do different stuff. 
I just configure them to deliver their mining results in three different locations. So then you um, you can go over to this slush pool here and you can see what it's doing. Seeing that I'm doing 3.5 terahashes per second, um, the numbers will go up. I, um, I, it's been a long time since I've messed with this last. I did actually mine bitcoins before I started my YouTube channel. You can see that I've actually in my time mined 3.731 bitcoins, which I have had transferred to somewhere else. But that was five years, nine months ago that I did that. And right now I'm 17% towards my next payout. Um, I need to, to lower that. I have said it that I, I want to get paid when I reached 0.1 bitcoins and back then the bitcoins was worth a lot less. I actually lowered that one because I had it set to 0.25 before that and I lowered it to 0.1 but yeah it, it, it usually estimates here that it's 20 some years before they will transfer the next amount to my bitcoin wallet thinkies. I thought this was fun getting a little bit into this again. I'm just doing this for fun. I actually had a good amount of Bitcoins back in the day, but well, someone hacked the Bitcoin stock exchange in Japan and guess who lost 11.2 Bitcoins on that occasion. Yeah, yours truly kind of lost some of the interest right there, but well, I'm just doing this for fun now. And this thing in the basement, well, you turn it on and it makes Bitcoins. You turn it off and it doesn't make Bitcoins. It's very easy to control. You just go into the web interface and you program it where it should get its work from and where to put the work back to. And it took me a little bit extra time to figure it out because I've been out of it so long, but I could still remember some of the stuff. It would have taken me less than five minutes to configure a Bitcoin miner like that. It jumps right on the network. It takes a DHCP address and it starts mining. Actually, when it arrived, it was mining for someone else. Um, it did that for about 20 minutes until I figured out where, um, where my data was. I hadn't messed with it for almost six years. So yeah, I had to dig that up somewhere and um, also lost my password for, for the mining pool here. So that too. So yeah, I have been playing a lot with solar and here shortly I'll get that little piece of cable to connect the last three solar panels on my roof of the garage and I will get up to about 3400 watts. So I should be able to run the Bitcoin miner and store 2000 watts into the batteries at the same time. Plus I need to quiet that thing down. It's loud as heck and it would be cool if I could actually run it when I was here just for fun and giggles. Right now I am running it because yeah we turn it on and yeah I had to turn it on anyway that was kind of why I started the video I wanted to, you to see that. Thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again please give this video a like and give me any good suggestions on how to quiet this thing down. So yeah have a nice day bye bye.